the feel knowing that William Poole and Christopher Smith are going to come back into the season? Um, we had a pretty good secondary last year, and um, of course, as you were saying, those two players, they, they were a big impact um, within that. So um, having two older guys and great leaders being able to come back and help us be successful for the next year is something that's going to help us. Junior, how many, um, how many times have you seen that picture, that the oil painting moment from the national championship game? I mean, is it something you close your eyes and see? Is it something you try to put behind you? Can you put that moment into perspective in your career and in your life? Um, it was a pretty good feeling, honestly. Going throughout the entire game, um, a lot of plays were made throughout that game that put us in that situation. And um, I'm just happy to be able to put on my team and, and, and just do the great things at the right time when we were able to. So that was what came out, came out on top. Yeah, on that play, it, uh, Kirby said, well, he didn't, th uh, he didn't think it won the game, mm -hmm. but he said it's really important that you don't let that play define your career, that there's a lot of improvement. Yeah, how, how have you, I mean, has that been something you guys have talked about and, and uh, how have you approached that? All the time, man, honestly. Um, every single day that I come out here and practice, I feel like there's definitely something I can get better on, um, on and off the field as well. So um, I feel like just having that mindset, honestly, could, could definitely put me on a different level. But um, they just put that thing behind me. Honestly, it's definitely something that's going to help me grow as well. Yeah, Kelly, I wanted to ask you about some of the other cornerbacks in that room. You're, you're somehow you're better than the old head in the room. What have you been your impressions of Kamari Lasseter and Adam Green and Jalen Everett? Obviously, this offseason and spring practice as well. Well, um, Kamari Lasseter and um, <coughs> Adam Green, two young great players. Honestly, um, great sponges. One in the defense. It took me a whole year and a half to co to completely like feel comfortable. It's especially playing with um, with with Dalen as well, him being thrown in the fire. Like um, I I remember how I felt in that situation, just like messing up on plays consistently and, and just having to line back up and, and put it behind me while Kirby's in the air as well and, and and all the rest of the coaches. So I feel like like just taking things slow and, and doing what you can to help yourself is definitely something that's going to help them succeed. Uh, George Pickens and DK had a lot to say about him, and I was just wondering uh, what's it like being up against AD Mitchell. Um, AD Mitchell's a great player, man. He makes it work every single day. Um, I would say he's one of the harder, um, harder players I've, I've had to guard in my, in my career. So I feel like just, just being able to get that look every single day and just being able to better myself continuously de definitely sits, sits right with me. So. Keely, is that that play, making that play, hit you? And that that's going to be, like, go down in history. Mm -hmm. And you're always going to be, maybe not remembered most for that, but that you're always going to be remembered. I'm sorry, what was your question again? <laughs> or has it hit you that you're always going to be remembered for that play? Um, it's pretty humbling, honestly. Um, as I was saying, like, um, yes, that was, a, that was a big play in a big situation, but I feel like, um, man, what's next? Um, man, like, I've seen plenty of players um, do big things in, in big situations and um, think, think that um, they're, they're on top of the mountain. So I feel like just continuing to um, stay consistent and, and just continue to do, um, to do things that can help my team win. I feel like I'll be set up straight. Keely Kirby talked about that play could give you confidence going forward. Do you yes, feel sir. like it has given you confidence? And what ways are you hoping to get better going into 2022? Yes, sir. Um, things like that, making plays in general can give you a lot of confidence, man. Just just, just playing within your game, you know, like um, coming to a new stage. <coughs> I mean, like um, learning to new techniques and, and just seeing different routes and um, things that the receivers and the um, quarterbacks are trying to do to you. I feel like um, when you make plays and, and you're definitely more comfortable, um, your, your confidence skyrockets even now. I feel like you're able to play better. So, yes, sir. And what you feel like you got, you just want to get better at? Oh, um, everything the corner, like, there's so many different things that a corner can get better at, honestly. Like, um, you can never perfect your craft. And in my um, honest opinion, like, you can always continue to work on it because there's always one or two plays to where in practice or in the game that um, you can definitely get better at. So, just like line of scrimmage technique and bailing and, and things like that, finding the ball in the air. Yes, sir. Keely, I'm not trying to get you to make comparisons for your former uh, DB's coach and Coach Brown, but what what is, what is Coach Brown's you know initial uh, what what is your take on him and kind of you know some of the things that you've already picked up from him? Um, right now, from just talking to him, like the the, the first time I um, the first time I spoke to him, I feel like he was a really down to earth guy. Um, he definitely knows what he's talking about with. with with, with everything that we're doing, there. and and I noticed that the first, the first meeting that I had with him, just just being able to trust, um, being able to trust him, just as I did with Coach Dye, um, last year, and just being able to put me in a good situation, 
I feel like um, Coach Smart and then the rest of the coaching staff definitely knew what they were doing by bringing him here. So um, I feel like we set up for a good start. Keely, how have things been different for you? You know, a year ago you were competing for a starting job. This year it seems like you've got one cemented. How are things different for you knowing that, and does that change, like, your leadership role too? Um, throughout, throughout this program, um, Coach Mark continuously states there's nothing cemented at all. Um, I feel like anything could happen in, um, in, in any type of situation, but definitely being one of the older guys um, on the team and, and definitely having to have that leader role definitely gives me a lot more confidence in being able to help the teammates and definitely be more comfortable with being vocal as a leader. Uh, what are y'all coached to do on an interception like that? I saw Kirby obviously motioning for you to get down. Is that a situational thing, or did you just have a reflex that you had to go? We definitely do have a situational thing to where, obviously, if, if it's a fourth down and, like, 20-plus, of course, you're going to want to get down or, or um, situational to where it's the, it's the very end of the game. But, um, man, that situation, I just thought about just being able to try to get to the end zone. I knew my teammates were definitely going to help me in that situation as they did throughout the rest of the game. I could say it myself, but I didn't have enough game that, that, that I could have ever played, but um, we definitely came out successful, so I was glad. How many times do you think someone's asked you about that play since the game ended and uh, can you kind of walk me through when the ball was being thrown, what's going through your mind? I've been asked for it um, countless many a times, man, just, um, just being able to explain it. Um, see ball, get ball, honestly, that's, that's, that's something that Coach Smart teaches us at every single day, being able to find the ball in the air. And, 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 and if you can't do that, you're definitely going to be able to, um, you're definitely going to struggle in this league. And that's, that's actually an enemy league, just being able to get your eyes around and wind the receiver off, off the um, off the line he's trying to run and just leave less space for the quarterback to drop the ball in. So, um, but talking about it, I mean, like, I just turned around and I was able to catch the ball, man. Like, it was, it was, it was just like backyard football. And, and when I caught it, I just felt like I was on offense and, and my teammates were right behind me trying to help me. So. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Thank you.